my 27 year old self she was called too much can't cope with you don't go be here with me don't leave me but i don't want to have sex with you because you're too much both men said the same thing absolutely messed with my 27 year old's head i <laughs> i'm laughing with embarrassment really what the fuck is this so i you know they would say things like i can't sleep i can't I can't eat, I can't work, I can't focus. My life is on hold because all I can think about is you. You're too much for me, but don't leave, stay around. I might want you soon. And he would say, I have been able to sleep. All I can think about is you. I want you, I need you, I want to be with you. But when I'm with you, you're too much. You drive me nuts, you drive me wild. I did not, <laughs> I didn't even offer it. I didn't even suggest it. It, it was what was coming from him. I was quite content just to be alongside him and be with him. So I'm laughing in a kind of incredulous, what the fuck is it about me that people want me like that? I'm talking from my 27 year old. And they don't want me. They tell me I'm too much. They push me away, but they want me back. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. And in all of that, at 27, I didn't have the capacity to think for myself to hold myself in a valuable way and just walk away from this stuff. It was very painful, very, very painful to be told, I want you, go away, you're too much, come back, don't leave me. I can't stop thinking about you. I can't get you out of my head. All I can think about is having sex with you, what sex has been like, how amazing it is, want to have more sex with you. It just felt like I was being blamed for every fucking thing. This is all about real, and that's what's important, being real, being absolutely to the point, raw and gritty, the facts, the facts. We're not gonna try and cover things up and make them something different. We're gonna say it as it was, precisely. Because that's where the, the healing lies. Feeling it, feeling the anger, feeling the pain, feeling the loss. Telling the story exactly as you experienced it. And the other thing is, please don't worry about somebody else saying, well, actually, you know, Cass, that wasn't true. That's not really how it was. Well, I would like to just butt in there and say, hang on a minute. This is how it was for me. This is my story. This is my experience. If you guys have got anything to say about how it was for you, you go write your own story. Go make your own art. Process it in your way. I'm processing it in my way, and my way is my truth. And your way is your truth. And that's what's important, how it was in your experience.